A short time after the Roman Emperor Constantine not only allowed Christianity to be practiced, but also became a Christian himself and supported the church in various ways, there was a pope named Damasus I. He's a saint, and his feast is celebrated in December. But he was very devoted to the two martyrs whom the church honors today, Saints Peter and Marcellinus, whose names appear in the Eucharistic prayer number one. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and Pope Damasus, who was born shortly after the time that Peter and Marcellinus were martyred, said that he heard the details of their martyrdom from their executioner himself. What are those details? Well, simply that these early Christians were taken away from the city of Rome and forced to dig their own graves in a secluded spot, after which they were beheaded. One of the executioners, the one who told the boy Damasus about this, became a Christian himself and revealed to the community the location of the grave, whereupon the bodies of these holy martyrs were retrieved and given a proper burial. In time, the Emperor Constantine built a church over their grave, and Pope Damasus encouraged their veneration. Why? Well, people of every time and place need examples to follow, heroes and heroines to look up to. That's what the martyrs are, courageous witnesses to the faith, people who showed that they were willing to make the ultimate sacrifice rather than to give up the faith that they believed would save them. Obviously, it didn't save them from their physical death, but we believe that by sharing in the cross of Jesus, by suffering and dying for Christ, the martyrs passed immediately into the eternal life Christ won on that cross. Here's our opening prayer from Mass today. Father, may we benefit from the example of your martyrs Marcellinus and Peter and be supported by their prayers. Amen.